Good morning, and thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Dr. Karen Cohen. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of the Canadian Psychological Association and the Ottawa Spokesperson for Defeat Depression, an initiative of the Mood Disorders Society of Canada. Depression impacts virtually every Canadian family. One in five Canadians will experience a mental health problem in a given year, one of the most common of which is depression. It is estimated that 8% of Canadians will experience a major depression within their lifetimes. This year, on May 10th, Ottawa is hosting its second annual fundraising walk as part of the National Defeat Depression Campaign, which will be happening in more than 40 communities across Canada throughout May and June. At events from coast to coast, volunteers are organizing local walks, runs, rides, and other physical or social activities with a common objective to raise funds and raise awareness about mental health and mental illness. Funds raised will be used to support community and mental health organizations that provide information, services, and supports for individuals and families living with mental disorders and help get people access to the specialized treatments they may need. There are two principal things that get in the way of people getting the help they need. First, the stigma attached to mental disorders keeps people from talking about it. Second, there are real barriers to accessing services and supports when people do ask for help. Although there are services, treatments and supports that work, it can be difficult to get to them. Difficult because services are either not publicly funded or are in short supply. The Ottawa event, a five kilometer walk at Vincent Massey Park, will raise funds for YouthNet. YouthNet Ottawa is a bilingual regional mental health promotion and intervention program run by youth for youth. Its objective is to reach out and help youth develop and maintain good mental health as well as healthy coping strategies for dealing with stress while decreasing stigma around mental illness and its treatment. This is done through education and through intervention. This campaign is about communities and families coming together to address depression and other mood disorders. With conversation and collaboration, we help to create an environment that encourages people to come forward for early intervention and treatment. Today we urge members of Parliament to get involved in their local Defeat Depression events. This is a great opportunity to help break down the barrier of stigma surrounding mental disorders and get people talking about mental health. Everyone is invited to participate. The Ottawa event takes place this Saturday, 9 o'clock, in Vincent Massey Park, with the walk to start at 10 a.m. The event will also feature fighting stigma demonstrations and testimonials by the Society of Creative Anachronism Fighters, refreshments and opportunities for socialization as well. By signing up to participate and donating to this event, you will be assisting community organizations that provide direct support to individuals affected by mental disorders and their families. We have been thrilled with the overwhelming response from Canadians to the Defeat Depression campaign, and we look forward to having our members of Parliament support our initiative with the same enthusiasm. For more information on other event locations across Canada and to register, please visit our website at defeatdepression.ca. Let's join together and show our support for those of us affected by mental disorders. Together we can raise awareness, knowledge and acceptance of mental illness. Together we can build a strong mental health network and increase collaboration across communities. Together we can bring about the changes in funding and support necessary so that Canadians get access to the psychological, mental and community services they need. Together we can make a difference for Canada's mental health. In closing, I'd like to let you know that in celebration of the campaign, we are hosting a reception this evening from 5.30 to 7 here in Centre Block in the Parliamentary Restaurant. All are welcome to attend and we hope to see you there. Thank you for your time. I'd be happy to answer any questions. Raising public awareness. Um, I think uh, communities have done a terrific job. Uh, mental, um, Mood Disorder Society of Canada, the Mental Health Commission of Canada, Bell Let's Talk, we've had a lot of really terrific champions, the Canadian Alliance Mental Illness Mental Health. We're all talking more. I think the big hurdle right now is turning that talk into action. So once we get people um, coming forward with their needs around mental health, we need to get them the services they need. And those are conversations about funding. Those are conversations about having the right peer support workers, community workers, and mental health providers available. Income from 
Well, um, how much time do you have? No. Uh, <laughs> funding when it comes to uh, mental health services and supports comes from a lot of pots. Um, some of the key providers of mental health services are not covered by public uh, health care system psychologists for example their services when are largely provided in the private sector uh, which creates real barriers to access so I think we need to so where does funding come from it does some of it comes from the public system and tertiary care facilities like hospitals or schools uh, in the education sector some of it comes from the pockets of Canadians probably too much of it for many Canadians and other times it comes through the private sector, so uh, extended health care insurance that's provided uh, through employment. Other similar campaigns that you're trying to model yourself after or does it feel are more successful? Well, I, you know, I, certainly in Ottawa, we were just discussing that. There's a tremendous number of very successful campaigns for, for a num number of causes. I think uh, Mental Health's unique campaign has really been to, aware, uh, to raise awareness because unlike perhaps, um, you know, other disorders that Canadians uh, face, th these are ones that largely weren't talked about enough. Um, so I, I would say that's probably been a, a really important focus for this community. Okay, great, thanks.